do not buy a Logitech C920. It's overpriced because of the world situation right now, and you most likely have a zero dollar alternative that you can use right now. I'm just gonna get right into it. The alternative is an Android app by the name of DroidCam. It's dead simple to use, and it turns your smartphone into a webcam. If you have an iPhone, there's an alternative by the name of Epoch Cam, but I don't have an iPhone myself, so I haven't been able to test that. But if it works like DroidCam, it should work just fine, but I haven't been able to test that. So how do you actually use DroidCam? On your computer, you wanna go to www dot dev 47 apps dot com or google droid cam and it should be the first link that pops up or go to the first link in the description and it should be the first link that you see in the description all right um, when you're on the website look here for download windows client assuming you're using a windows machine you want to click onto this then you see this page load in here and you'll see droid cam client v6.3.1 or maybe it's 6.3.2 or 6.3. something else but regardless of what it says you want to click onto this button that i'm hovering over here this should pop up a window here of this being downloaded if you're using edge or chrome then it'll pop up at the bottom here instead but either way you want to click on whatever the equivalent of save file is and if you're on firefox like i am you want to click here and then you want to click on it here and then you want to click yes here if you see a window pop up that asks for permission you want to click yes you should then see the installation start like this if you're on edge or chrome you would want to click on open file down here it should open up the thing in the same way that you're seeing right now then you click next then you want to click I agree. You would want to click next again. Then you want to click install again. And now you should see the screen installing here. And now you're finished on the PC side of things, at least for now. Yeah, so now you want to head over to the Play Store on your smartphone. You would then want to type into the search field here. You type in Droid Cam. You can see it top up here, Droid Cam. Then you'll see this app, the Droid Cam app. It should be the first one that pops up. You want to click onto it. And then you want to click install. Okay. And then you want to wait for it to finish installing. Okay, so now you want to open up the app. You should see some instructions pop up, but I'm explaining how to do it, so you don't need to read that. So just next, got it. I'll, if you see any permission screen pop up like this, you want to click allow, allow. You're obviously going to be using this to record, right? So that's what you need for it to do. And then you should see a screen with some numbers on it here. Now you want to head back over to your PC and you will now want to go over to your desktop. You want to head over to your desktop and click on the droid cam shortcut here. If you don't find it here, you can just come into your search and type in droid cam until you see it pop up here and then click on it here. And you should see a screen like the one that I'm seeing right now. You should see device IP, droid cam port video audio, and you should be on this this first one here, right? If I should mention, in order to be able to use droid cam, you need to be on the same network as the PC that you're trying to connect to. Your PC doesn't need to have Wi-Fi, but then you need to be connected to the same router, basically. If you don't want to do that, then you can connect via USB, but I'll be talking about that later, all right? In the device, IP field here you want to click on this and you want to head back over to your phone and what you should see here under Wi-Fi IP on your phone is the value that you actually want and the Wi-Fi IP of your phone should be something about 192.168.0 and then you should have a number between 2 to like 10 if you don't have many devices on your network in my case the number is 5 what I want to do is take this number and Wi-Fi IP and type it in on the PC in device IP so that's what I'm gonna do here so that will be 192.168 68.0.5 you want to check the droid cam port number on your phone or your pc and make sure they're the same value they should be the same but if they're not the same you want to change the pc value to match what you're seeing on your phone here if you want to use your phone's mic and not be a silent person then you would want to click on audio as well and assuming you've put all your information in accurately and there's no other issues when you click start here so you can see that it's now recording um from the camera here and it's doing so wirelessly too this camera footage from your phone registers as if it's a webcam if you want to use it with skype if you want to use it with zoom if you want to use it with discord if you want to use it with only fans whatever it is you want to use it with you choose it as if it's a regular webcam it just works just the same as any other webcam you might have but let's just say you still had some problems maybe it was not working this didn't work out for you like there's something with your network or whatever in that case you want to connect via usb so let me address that right now so if you want to connect via usb the first thing you're going to need is a usb take a usb connected to your pc 
and then connect your phone to the other end. You want to leave the Droid Cam app open on your phone, by the way. Then you want to head back over to your PC. You want to click on this icon that you see here. After you click on that, you should see this particular window pop up here with this button at the side and nothing in this list. What you then want to do is click on this refresh button here. And when you click on that, you have to wait for a little bit. And if you see no devices detected pop up here, you want to go to your phone and then you want to and you want to roll down the status bar and you want to click on the equivalent of charging this device depending on the phone it might be something like usb connection or change usb connection or something like this but it should be in your status bar after you pull down the screen you want to click on this you want to tap on this and you want to change the usb mode to ptp or mtp or whatever the equivalent you have you don't want it to be on usb tethering and you don't want it to be on file transfer and you don't want it to be on no data transfer so you want it to be on ptp or mtp depending on your phone you might have MTP instead of PTP, but you're gonna click on that. You're gonna go back into Droid Cam on your phone and on your PC. You wanna click the refresh button again. Yeah, so you should see the model number for your phone pop up here. Mine is SMN900V, which is the Galaxy Note 3, which is a pretty old phone. So you should be able to see it pop up in this list. If you still don't see it popping up here, it's probably because you don't have USB debugging enabled. So you wanna head back over to your phone again. So in your phone, you wanna head into settings. You wanna either be looking for developer options. If you don't see it here, you want to look for about phone, right? You want to click on that. Then you want to go down to build number, which is here, right? And you want to keep tapping on it until you see a screen here. It might ask you to put in your password here. You want to put in your phone password here, right? And then you should see you enable development settings. Now you want to come back out and you want to look for developer options or developer tools or something along those lines. It, it might appear just in this menu here. If you don't find it, you go into system here. Then you want to go into advanced. It depends on the phone it is that you have, right? And then you want to click developer options here right if you can't find it you can just try to search here instead and type in developer and then you should see it here, development tools, right? And you wanna come here now and you wanna scroll down in this list and you're looking for either USB debugging or Android debugging. In my case, it will be Android debugging. And you wanna turn this on and then okay. And now you wanna reconnect your phone. When you reconnect your phone and you press this again, now it should pick up your phone. You wanna make sure you have Droid Cam open if you wanna be able to use it because otherwise it won't work properly. So you wanna open up Droid Cam, reconnect your phone, click onto this again, and then it should pop up in this list. You just click video and audio if you wanna have both your mic and show a video and then click start and it works just like a regular webcam just like i explained earlier right so if it's still not working then it's most likely either your usb port or your usb cable that's not functioning well so you can try a different cable or a different port or some combination of both of those if it's still not working then i'm sorry i can't fix your problem i'm not a miracle worker i know i look like one but i assure you i am not actually a miracle worker despite actually looking like one maybe you're thinking okay ting ting and that's all well and good but i have to use my logitech webcam to help with you well here's the thing a lot of YouTubers and, and just people in general, honestly, I recommend the Logitech C920 because of the price and convenience was so difficult to beat. At the price it was, it was really difficult to actually be able to get something that was cheaper and more convenient than the Logitech webcam. But right now, the C920 has tripled in price. You used to be able to get it for as low as like 50, less than 50. Now you'd be lucky if you find it for less than $150. It is going up like crazy. This whole dynamic dynamic of price and convenience is now just completely tipped off balance and now there's so many better competitors now the, the Logitech webcam I remember guys when I was considering for my setup I was considering to replace the camera I'm recording this video with now with the Logitech C920 in order to make the whole setup cheaper I was actually considering to replace the camera I have to make my setup cheaper right but then when you take the camera you take the cost of the lens you take the cost of the tripod you take the cost of the SD card you take the cost of the dummy battery that I use in the camera you take the cost of all of those things it is actually the whole setup of all of the pieces is actually less money than one Logitech webcam. Just a few months ago, I was considering replacing the camera, just the camera, to make the overall setup cheaper. Now, one Logitech webcam, one C920, is more money than the entire setup. That is insane. It is going up ridiculously. It is a decent camera. It is not worth its present price. Crazy part is, even things like video quality is likely to be better. The camera I have is on a Galaxy Note 
note 3 so my phone is not all that good it's a, quite an old phone but if you have any modern phone you might actually most likely get better quality out of your phone especially when you consider you can make your phone wireless it's actually more convenient in a lot of ways than if you had the logitech webcam because it's wireless now and you actually likely get better quality and that's even without if you go for the paid version of droid cam which is for like five dollars if you get that version you get access to higher quality video you don't even need that honestly the logitech cam is not known for having the best highest quality video it's known for being really really convenient and really easy to use and really functional it's not known for being looking the best right so very likely your phone is going to be on par or better even at a lower resolution and if you decide to pay the whopping five dollars five dollars sorry right which would make this video clickbait because all of a sudden it's no longer zero dollar alternative guys it's actually like a five dollar alternative big difference if you decide to pay for the hd version of a droid cam and uh, still Definitely, you should actually be able to surpass the quality or meet the quality, especially when you consider that your camera comes with an LED light attached to it. You really want to have as much light as you possibly can when you're recording these situations. Like if you can, you might want to buy like a, a, a studio light or something like that, which you might be thinking, okay, well at that point, I might as well just get a Logitech webcam anyway. But the thing is, if you want to get the best quality out of the DC920, you probably would need one of these lights anyway. You might be thinking like, all right, Ting Ting, and that's all well and good. I can use my smartphone as a webcam, it, it, but still, even though the Logitech webcam is ridiculously overpriced, I just prefer the convenience. I'm not gonna go through all this stuff. I'm not gonna spend the one to two minutes setting this up. I just cannot be asked. I rather spend my $150. Even in that case, guys, I prefer to have a dedicated camera. I don't wanna have to use my phone. What if I get a phone call while I'm using, trying to do my thing? I, I just don't wanna have that. You guys, we're literally at the point that you might be better off buying a cheap android phone for a hundred less than a hundred dollars he might be better off buying a cheap phone for that price than purchasing the logitech c920 that's where we're at right now you might be better off buying a whole phone if it is you want to have a, a dedicated phone because if you do that you can do more than just your webcam guys you can get phone calls on it right you can send text from it you can send text from your logitech webcam right i mean hey i mean i'm not necessarily recommending people go out and do that i'm just trying to say that it's so ridiculously inefficient the whole reason by the way i even found out about this is because i wanted to have a camera the current camera that i use to record videos it can only record for a set amount of time and i wanted to have a camera that could actually record unlimitedly right for a specific video i was going to be making in the future that's what i wanted and i went and i was like oh i could probably just use like a c920 since it's pretty cheap and i only need this i don't really care about the quality of the video i just want to get something really quick out i was like okay yeah i'll do that and i go and i check the price i'm like what the hell <laughs> this camera was like like twenty dollars a few days ago now it's like 150 i'm not gonna pay this and that's how i came up on this alternative that's how i even ended up down this path in the first place and i feel a lot of people because you go on you see so many videos on youtube of people recommending this camera when it costs like one third or one one quarter of what it presently costs you might go and feel that like you should go and get that but the problem is at its present price it is just way too expensive and i don't believe you should be purchasing this camera at this cost it is way 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 too much money if it is you at the very least want a dedicated webcam and you don't want to be bothered with your phone maybe there's some issue maybe it didn't work out for you or maybe you just don't want to use your phone or use another phone or whatever or maybe you're like well if i try to use my phone then i i can't like position it properly you can buy one of those arms for your phone to actually be able to do that but maybe you don't want to do that maybe you don't even want to do that then in that case at the very least buy one of those cheaper webcams for like less than 60 or so dollars like the quality difference between that and a logitech webcam is not going to be that big and it's going to serve you the same and you're not going to waste a ton of money going for a camera that the reason why it costs as much as it does is simply because there's so much demand and it's such a popular recommendation that a lot of people simply just don't know that there's better alternatives and that's why so many people are buying it okay so at the very least if you absolutely need to have a dedicated webcam you could at least go one of those cheaper alternatives instead of wasting your money on a c920 i just couldn't believe how ridiculous the price of a c920 is guys so thanks guys thanks for watching that's all i have for today just for the love of god if you see someone and they're midway through a purchase of a c920 please all i ask of you just beg them okay beg them to not make the biggest mistake of their entire life okay actually the biggest mistake of their entire life would be not liking and watching this video so actually never mind get them to waste their 150 just as long as they like and watch this video guys thanks for watching jesus